Here are some easy methods to fix the get socket OPT error code in Minecraft. If this video helps you, all I ask in return is that you subscribe. Let's go. Now, the first thing you want to do is close Minecraft 100% from your computer. After that, you're going to right click on your start menu down here and you're going to head over to network connections. Over here, we're going to scroll down and click where it says advanced network settings. And over here, you want to click now where it says network reset and you want to go ahead and click reset now. After you press yes in here, you want to restart your computer that is going to reset your network and probably fix any issues that you might have with your network connection. After that, go ahead and try opening Minecraft. If that hasn't fixed the issue, let's go ahead and flush your DNS cache. For that, head over to search and type in CMD, right click on the command prompt and click where it says run as administrator. That will give you a prompt which my recording software doesn't pick up, but just go ahead and allow this app to open or hit yes and that will place you right here. In here, we're going to type ipconfig, just like so, then press a space and then type flush DNS just like that and now hit enter and that is going to flush the DNS cache from your computer. Now go ahead and close this prompt and try to run Minecraft one more time. If that still hasn't fixed the issue, head over to searching here and typing network and then open view network connections right here. Now with the network connections in here, find the one that you're using in your computer. For me, it's the ethernet. So you're gonna right click on it and then you're gonna click properties. Now in the properties menu, you're gonna look for internet protocol version four. Mine is right here. You're gonna select it and you're gonna click on properties. Now in properties, you might have it looking like this. So you're going to change it to where it says use the following DNS server addresses down here. Once you select it, you're going to type 8888 on the top and then you're going to type 8844 in the alternate DNS server on the bottom. Now, once you have those numbers in there, click on OK, click close down here. And now you could close this out and go ahead and try Minecraft one more time. If that still hasn't fixed the issue, head over to search and type in Windows Defender and then go ahead and open your Windows Defender firewall. Once you open your Windows Defender firewall, go ahead and click where it says allow an app or filter through Windows Defender firewall. In here, we're going to click where it says change settings. And now we're going to scroll down until we see Minecraft or anything related to Minecraft. As you can see, I have NC server because I'm running a Minecraft server, but I also have Minecraft for Windows down here. Once you find Minecraft, you're going to allow the private and public. So you're going to check those if they are in check and make sure they're both selected. Now, you also want to allow Java or Java W or whichever Java you're running in here. So you want to make them both private and public enable. So find any Java if you have it in here and allow it to run to your Defender firewall. If you can't find any Java in here, that's totally fine as well. But if you do, just go ahead and allow the Java to be open. Just go ahead and open Java to public and private. Now, if you guys have a custom Minecraft launcher, look for it in here. Let's say you're running the CurseForge launcher. You want to look for the CurseForge launcher in here and allow it to be open to private and public. That is only for those of you running a custom Minecraft launcher. And once you have opened the private and public in here, go ahead and hit OK. You could close this window and now go back to playing Minecraft and enjoying your game. Also, a quick tip is that if you had ever created a Minecraft server on your computer and you had opened your port, you might want to head back to your port forwarding connections and delete those ports that you're not using anymore. And that might also solve your issue. Anyways, guys, if this video helped you out, please don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.